welcome back and for those that are new here welcome my name is Stephanie for today I want to share some important tips advice and also things that make my weight loss journey so much easier for me especially in the beginning um, a lot of these things that I am going through I'm sure you've seen here in my channel before but I think it's important just to share like an update just because you know I'm doing this whole new weight loss journey which I want to just say that I am currently 140 I am 10 pounds pounds away from my goal weight. It's been a journey, but I'm so excited that I'm still pushing through. I feel amazing. And for those that don't follow me on Instagram, check me out on Instagram. Your girl is like, thinking she's a model, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling so much confident and so much better. So that's why I think this video is important, just because I get a lot of questions on how people should start their journey, what should they buy, this and that. So I just wanna share with you the things that I find to really help me make a difference and what helps me just jump right into it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to join this amazing community and let's get into it. Okay guys, I know it's very difficult when you wanna lose weight. You keep saying, I wanna do this, I wanna lose weight, I want my body to look a certain way. And then you try to start and you're like, okay, what do I do now? So if you're at the point that you know you want this, then that's a great first step. But now these things that I have today are just to show you and just to help you really stay on track and make this journey a lot easier. So my number one thing that I think is super important to have, especially when you're starting your weight loss journey and just throughout the whole journey and even after just to continue and maintain yourself, is buying a measuring tape. Uh, you can get this, I got this literally at the dollar store for a dollar, so there's no excuses why you can't get this. And the reason why I love a measuring tape is because you can really measure your whole body, all the areas, and within like four to like eight weeks, go back, measure yourself, and maybe the scale isn't showing much of a difference, but your waist, your arms, your thighs, your butt, your chest, everything is going down in inches. And I'm telling you that number will make you so much happier than like a scale number. And the reason why, like I wanna have a smaller waist, but I want like to keep my butt, you know, I think I have a nice butt. <laughs> um, so on a scale, it'll tell me like, hey, you're 140 but it won't tell me like, hey girl, you're losing those inches off your stomach, but and that butt still looks good. Like, no, it's not doing that. And the measuring tape won't say it that way, but it'll pretty much tell you that you are targeting the areas that you wanna work on and telling you how you're shaping your body. So that's why I always recommend please get a measuring tape. You will definitely love it and just write down those measurements. Every so often measure yourself again and I have a video, uh, part two I believe it was, of my weight loss journey that you can see how I measured and the ways that you can. And I'm doing an update just because it's been a little while so I'm gonna do an update on my measurements so you guys can follow along. But with that being said, I'm all about getting the measuring tape but you do or and you should purchase a scale. The reason why I'm not really a big stickler on scales, like you've heard it in my previous videos, I don't really love when people obsess over this scale, but it does help because, you know, originally with my weight loss journey, I started at 157 and now I'm at 140. I would have never known how much I lost in weight if it wasn't for the scale. So don't put it somewhere that you're gonna constantly eat and go on and be like, oh my God, I gained two pounds, this is over. Like, no, it's okay. At least weigh yourself, like, honestly, I do it like once every like two to three weeks. Like, I'm not really big on the whole scale thing, um, but I do recommend buy it, put it somewhere that you're not gonna be staring and tempted to check and just keep that goal weight in mind that you wanna get to. But besides that, don't like, don't put too much pressure on this scale. Okay, so now the third thing I absolutely would say that helps and has helped me through this whole weight loss journey is buying a food scale. I love my food scale. I got this right off of Amazon, super cheap. And just to let you guys know, I will have everything down below. Um, but the reason why I love my food scale, 
especially if you're trying to really stay like focused i don't want to stay on a diet so much because you know this girl can eat but like during my meal preps especially when i'm meal prepping my meals this will help 100 percent guarantee that i am eating the portion that i should be eating it helps with portion control um so when you get a food scale it helps a lot of people they think they're measuring right but like everyone always measures a lot more larger amounts than they should be so that's why this helps you keep in that portion control and helps you keep on track with your meals so uh, this baby is very handy especially on my meal prep sundays that is when i always cook and this one is always out helping me she's like a real one here and now with that being said another thing that is super important to have is measuring cups and measuring spoons this i want to say helps me a lot with when i'm cooking you know you always think like oh let me just sprinkle a little bit here a little bit there that's going to be enough but sometimes it's not or sometimes you sprinkle way too much so something to help you with the whole portion control and when you're cooking is measuring cups and measuring spoons um, if you can't afford to get the food scale you know you can portion yourself with measuring cups um, I've done it before before I had my food scale and it helps me now with my food scale I don't do it as much I'm not gonna lie to you but it does help me when I'm cooking meal prep Sundays these bad boys are always out just because I want to make sure I am cooking what I need to cook, not over seasoning things, not using things that I don't need. So make sure these are handy when you are doing your weight loss journey because they are super important. Okay, and then now the next thing that I wanna talk about, and a lot of this now, I guess we can say we're like in the food area. So why? Because these are super important please please get yourself mason jars um as you can see this one's empty i just wanted to show you guys an empty one and then one that i already have filled the reason why i love my mason jars especially if you're someone that you have little time if you're really busy and you like to just grab and go mason jars are the way to go um, i use mason jars for pretty much everything even my fruits as you can see here um, here I have strawberries and blueberries. They don't go bad. Like obviously they go bad, but not as fast as when you have them in the container. Um, so I just cut them up, I'm ready to go. And then when I wanna eat them, I just grab this and start eating. So mason jars are super helpful keeps the food fresh especially your fruits i hope you guys out there are having fruits and veggies but these 100 percent keeps your fruit fresh it doesn't go bad because like strawberries i blink and the whole thing's molted and i'm like i only had one you know and with this too i do my overnight oats which i've done in a different video um i got this pack i got 12 um mason jars for i think it was like eight dollars at walmart the grocery store Ugh. They were like $20 for like 10. I was like, does your girl look rich here? Because I am not. So Walmart is the way to go, or I'm sure even Amazon has them cheap, but if you wanna just pick them up right away, you know, get them there. But if you're starting this weight loss journey and you wanna make sure you have your fruits, get a pineapple, get cantaloupe, get berries you know just cut them up and put them in here i'm telling you it helps and now with that being said next and this is also for the people that are meal prepping um you don't have to do this if you're cooking your meals fresh because i know a lot of people don't like to meal prep i get it no judgment you like to eat everything fresh I'm not one of those people. I can meal prep for the whole week and I'm good. I like more convenience than anything. So if I could take something out of the fridge, put it in the microwave and then eat it a minute later, sign me up. <laughs> so that's our food trays. I got these off of Amazon. Super easy, super convenient, and it helps you with the portion control. The bigger the tray, the more you're gonna wanna fill it and the more you're gonna wanna eat. So that's why the smaller the tray, the more portion control, you know, make sure you get what you are gonna eat. Don't under eat either. You are meal prepping. I'm telling you, it helps 100% and it keeps you controlled with what you're eating and focus on your whole weight loss journey. Okay. Okay, so now last but not least, and this is more for the people that are like visuals, uh, not visual learners, but like they like to have like something visual to remind them about their 
weight loss journeys or you know if you're working out at home where to have all the workouts not just on your phone like i am very into having things and reminding myself like oh yeah that's why you're doing it just like my vision board um i do a vision board every year every morning i look at it and i'm like yes that's my goals, those are my fo that's what I'm focusing on, and that's what I'm gonna crush this year. So that's the same thing that I do for my weight loss journey. So that's why my next thing that I would recommend is getting a whiteboard. So here I have all my workouts, and the reason why is because I work out at home. A lot of you work out at the gym, I'm not expecting you to grab this whiteboard and taking it to the gym with you and be like, hey guys, this is what I'm doing, you know, like, let's not be crazy. But obviously, if you're going to the gym, just put everything on your phone. But if you're working out at home, I'm telling you, this helps. Just have your workouts right there on the wall where you always normally work out. And the reason why, you know, we make excuses. We say, oh, we're too tired. Oh, maybe tomorrow. But I feel like when you have everything out and you know like okay i can crush this this can be done this is doable yes i'm tired but in an hour or even less 45 minutes i can get this done and go to sleep and be satisfied with my day so that's why i have all my workouts written out and then i have my goals down here which there are three weight loss goals it's eat clean i check them off when i you know achieve them so i've been eating clean train five days a week i've been doing that and then weigh 130 pounds so that's my big goal that's why i'd start i'm not there yet but i'm gonna be there soon so i love to have a board just because i love to look at it and every day i'm like okay i'm getting my leg workout done okay i'm getting my chest workout done okay i'm getting my back workout done you know so if you do work out at home i'm telling you this helps it helps me and i got this at ac more they're actually closing down so i got this super cheap i got this for like 10 bucks um just because like everything's on super sale so if you have an ac more that's still open around you get there ASAP and get yourself a whiteboard. And if you do work out at the gym, if you want before you go to the gym, put it near your closet or where you have your gym equipment and just write yourself reminders. Like, I am enough, I am gonna make this work, I am gonna crush it at the gym. You know, just something that keeps you motivated. Sometimes little notes like that keeps us going and I know it's more mental, but it keeps you dedicated and motivated. So now with that being said, that is the last thing that I have on my list for what has helped me through my weight loss journey. These are just items, physical items that I have purchased for this. But now my biggest, biggest tip for starting your weight loss journey is making a plan. And like I said before, if you really wanna do this and you don't know where to start, make a plan. Say I'm gonna work out so and so days, I'm gonna meal prep one day so I can have enough for the week, I'm gonna do this, you know, it's okay to schedule yourself, especially if you have a lot going on. I work two jobs, I do all this editing, I do Instagram, I do TikTok, you know, like I do a lot and I still get it done. So there's no excuse why you can't. So please make a plan and don't overwhelm yourself. Make a plan that's gonna work. Because if you make a plan that's not realistic for your lifestyle, but it's realistic to me, we're two different people. It's just not gonna work out for you. So make a plan that's gonna be right for you, right for your mind and right for your body. And I'm telling you, you are gonna crush it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. These are my tips and tricks that have helped me through this weight loss journey. I am very happy at where I am so far. And thank you everyone for believing in me. You know, part one, like that video is nowhere near where my mindset is today. Like I am so happy I pushed through and I'm still pushing through and I hope you do too. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And thank you again for watching. I really hope these things help you and my tips help you. Let me know if you purchase anything and how it's going. And thank you again everyone for watching. Love you guys.